What's up guys? It's Michaela. Welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be telling you guys about my community college experience as a marine biology major. I don't know about you guys, but I haven't heard of any marine biology majors that go to community college first. They all go to university right out of high school. So I thought you guys would benefit from my insight if you guys are wondering about whether to go straight to university or go to community college first. So I hope you guys enjoy and let's dive in. So I graduated high school in 2018 and I decided to just go to community college and get my general ed done with little to no cost, which if I have to be honest, I recommend you guys doing because I didn't pay more than probably $1,500 for my entire three years of community college. So it is very, very beneficial to go to community college if you are in a financial hardship or just don't wanna pay university prices. So like I said, straight out of high school, I decided to go to community college as a biology major. I'm not gonna say which community college I initially went to just cause they're pretty irrelevant. They don't really matter. I didn't, I didn't like it there, but I decided to go. It was 15 minutes from my house. And like I said, I was a biology major. Being a biology major, I was shoved in with every other biology major. So they were either pre-med, biology, nursing, or something like that. I was the only marine biology person in any of my classes and I was the weird fish girl like I loved fish and loved whales and dolphins so I related to nobody in any of my classes. I would be lying if I said my first year of community college was not rough. Um, I was unmotivated. I got diagnosed with my autoimmune disease so I had to drop a bunch of classes and I was just not happy. I wasn't happy at my community college. I didn't really have any friends. I didn't do anything to get involved because I was just straight up unhappy, which really isn't the fault of the college itself. I more so blame my high school because I talked to my guidance counselor and I was like, look, I wanna major in marine biology, but I'm going to community college first. And she recommended that I go to the first school that I did go to, when in reality, she should have suggested my second community college right off the bat. So I don't necessarily blame my college, I blame my high school guidance counselor. I'm sure there were other people that were majoring in marine biology as well, but I was just so unmotivated, so just unhappy that I didn't even wanna be at school. I ditched class a lot, I failed a class, and then I ended up dropping like three or four in the total of the one year I was there. So it was just not good. The couple classes that I did drop did have to do with my autoimmune disease. I missed two weeks of school and just could not keep up. So half of it was not my fault, but then the other half was just me skipping class and me being stupid and didn't want to do school. Now moving on to my second and half of my third year of community college. So I was in community college for two and a half years. My first full year was done at my first school. My second full year and half of my third year was done at Orange Coast College in Costa Mesa, California. I have zero bad things to say about this school. I loved Orange Coast so incredibly much. Before I transferred to Orange Coast, I knew of Orange Coast, but I didn't know anything about the school. And one of my friends actually told me about it because she was in the marine biology program at Orange Coast College and she loved it. And so she told me about the aquarium on campus, all the different programs they have, all the different classes they have. And so I looked it up online and I fell in love with the campus, with the programs, with the professors, with everything. So with four weeks left of summer, I applied to transfer to Orange Coast from my original school, obviously got accepted because it's community college, got everything transferred over, and 
I started in fall of 2019. So I started just by taking two classes. Number one, since I registered so late into the semester, not a lot of classes were available anymore. And number two, I just wanted to keep my class load pretty slow and pretty minimal so I could get adjusted to my new school and all my new programs and everything like that. So my first semester at OCC, I took marine mammalogy, so like a marine mammals class. And then I took aquarium science, which I trained in the on-campus aquarium and it was so amazing. Hands down the best time I have ever had. It did teach me that I don't wanna work in an aquarium setting as much as I do in a wild setting, but I loved my time at the OCC aquarium so much 10 out of 10. Along with all the classes they offer, their marine science professors are just amazing. There's Rob Ellis and Karen Baker. So incredible. If you guys are in the Southern California area and you're interested in checking out OCC, check out their website. I'll have it linked down below and I'll link the marine science department. You can contact Rob and Karen if you have any questions or any further questions that I can't answer but they are just so incredibly amazing. Rob has helped me tremendously from just applying to university, what classes I need to take and so on. And obviously you can imagine I found where I belong. So in return, I found the people that I belong with. I made such great friends, even if they weren't from the marine science department. Like in my chemistry class, there was zoology, there was chemistry students, there was biology students, there was marine biology students, but we all loved science so much that we just all got along so incredibly well. I forgot to mention this, but Orange Coast College is a pretty STEM heavy school. So for their marine biology department, they have an aquarium. For their astrology department, they have a whole astrology building and a planetarium and all everything. Any major you can imagine has a hands-on building on that campus. And it's just really amazing if you are a STEM student. So I'm going to focus more on the marine science program and the aquarium certificate that you can get. I only took one semester of the aquarium class just because my schedule did not prompt for it and I was just super busy with work and other classes, but you can get a whole certificate that will actually certify you to work in any aquarium across the United States which is amazing because that is not something that every school offers. So there's 120, which I took, and you are basically just learning the fundamentals of working in an aquarium, and you have to do two hours of service hours in the aquarium a week that are ran by the managers, and then you have 220, which is the manager class. So when you reach the 220 level, you start managing the 120 students, if that makes sense. And then they have classes about filtration. They have classes about keeping organisms in an aquarium. Like I said, I'll link everything down below. It'll explain it much more than I can, but it is a great program. And as far as the marine science program goes, you have marine science, marine biology classes, marine mammalogy classes, gray whale classes, oceanography, coastal oceanography, so many incredible classes to take. So going back to OCC as a whole school, it was a very, very big campus. I'll put a map up on the screen. They built dorms on a community college campus. That is how big this community college is. So incredibly big. I don't even know how many people there are on campus. I'll put it somewhere on the screen after I look it up but I've never felt little on that campus. I always felt like I fit in. I always felt like I belonged there. And I always felt like there were people at that school that had my best interest at heart. Getting a little bit uncomfortable. And the last topic I wanna to touch on is just life going to OCC. The campus is great. It is like a 15 minute drive from the beach. Me and my friends would go swimming in between classes. We would go surfing. We would just go hang out on the beach and it was great. So location is great. And then for the campus itself, there's a place where you can get free groceries. Orange Coast was really, really great about giving back to its students and just helping its students. So you had free groceries. I think you were able to get free snacks once a day at this certain place. I forgot what it was called. It was called Pirate Something. I'm sure you can find it on their website. And lastly, they had a Starbucks on campus, which 
let me tell you, was amazing. I love Starbucks and that was just amazing to have on campus. So that was my community college experience as a marine biology major. I hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks for watching. If you liked what you saw, hit the subscribe button down below and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.